Welcome to Fast Forward. This is a new series where we'll be following three schools as they come up with ingenious ways to build a sports car. We'll follow the progress of the teenagers as they get some top tips from experts from the West Midlands. It's amazing how racing cars have changed over the years. Earlier models were based on a horse and carriage design. These days, sports cars are more powerful, they're sleek and packed with gadgets. We've challenged youngsters from the West Midlands to design a concept sports car of their dreams. And who knows, their ideas could be the mean machines of the future. Hi, I'm Leon. Hi, I'm Tasha. Hi, I'm Bradley. Hi, I'm Gemma. Our car is going to be shiny, stylish, unique, modern, and it's going to be black. black. Uh, no, no, pink. pink. Uh. Uh. My name's Jasty. My name's Amandy. Hi, I'm Candice, and we're, we're from, from Lords of Girls School. School. The car that we want to create would ideally be classy, eco-friendly, and stylish. Hi, I'm Shanor. I'm Aaron. I'm Roxanne. And I'm Liam. And we're, we're, we're from, from the Westwood School. School. And we want to make a car that is going to be a sports car. Streamlined. Fast. And economical. They've come to Coventry, the birthplace of the British motor industry. And here at the city's transport museum, home to the country's finest road vehicles, they get a glimpse of cars past and present. They're on a mission to inspire and to be inspired. The youngsters compete against each other in a challenge in which they will be judged on overall design. Well, that's really horrible. Safety features, use of space and environmental awareness. Our car that we're going to design is going to be black with neon pink lights. As long as it's pink and modern and flashy, then I think it might appeal to the people that we want it to appeal to. Sports cross like four by four, so it would be able to have be able to hold like four seats, and modern, so have like some sort of modern feature like DVD players and TVs and stuff like that in it. It's an excellent way of getting children's interest uh, in industry and what goes on, especially in uh, engineering and design, which are areas I think in which. The UK, we've been told the UK is uh, lacking and I think it's a wonderful initiative to uh, get children at uh, the age of uh, they are um, interested in the whole business. Here at Aston University, the engineering department is at the forefront of cutting edge technology, perfect for budding engineers hoping to pick up a few tips. Every year, 12 students are given the opportunity to take part in the Formula Student Racing Team. They design and build a single-seater racing car. The final product is judged and compared with similar teams from around the world. This year, the competition takes place at Silverstone. I was in charge last year of designing and building the rear chassis for um, last year's entry. Um, so that involved learning about um, the techniques that would, we'd be using and uh, developing methods of, of making it, basically. What do you think about the, the project these kids are involved with? Well, I think it's ideal. It's, it's got to be the best way of, of getting uh, future engineers and future uh, designers uh, involved in the automotive industry. The teenagers have been getting to grips with different materials to see how they can dramatically affect the design and look of a car. We've just been showing them a few of the basics of uh, composites and carbon fibre. Um, basically, it's a major part in Aston's Formula Student. We have a complete carbon fibre chassis and we use carbon fibre for a lot of the uh, uh, bodywork as well, so the side pods, uh, the firewall, etc., the seat. Uh, and so we just try to pass on a bit of our knowledge. We're making coasters so we know what the car's gone through to get to the process that we see cars in nowadays. We're so used to everything being industrialised, you wouldn't think that you such, have to use like, such hard labour to be able to do something to make a car. The science and technology being developed at Aston University will eventually help research organisations and companies in the West Midlands, other parts of the UK and abroad. After a busy day learning about the mechanics of car design, how much do the students actually take in? I've learnt a lot of things, like that cars are made out of carbon fibre and all the process that goes in it. It showed me a lot of things that I can do and how I can use technique, different techniques to make my car. Yeah, you can hear it whirring around at very high speed. The youngsters are now equipped with the knowledge to go away and design their own cars. They might be students today, but they could be the engineers of tomorrow who go on to design cars like this.